We now return to Crypto Hospital. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Panda, what seems to be the trouble today? Dr. Technicals, thank you for seeing us. It's my husband, RPM. Every time he tries to talk, well, something terrible happens. All right, Mr. Panda, uh, what seems to be the trouble? Mr. Panda? Oh, he won't reply for the first 60 seconds. He wants to make sure he drags it out so you have to pay attention to him for that much longer. That makes sense. Mm. Hey See, normally in this situation, I'd prescribe hosting, but really there are no reputable hosting companies to recommend. So, uh, how about fentanyl? Dr. Technical, that handsome pharmaceutical rep's here to see you. Oh, thank God. Yes, and I think he's going to get us Panera Bread for lunch today. Hey, hey, Doc Technicals, how's my favorite MD doing? Hey, Chiz, how are things in the pharmaceutical game? Hey, hey, we got some new hot new drugs to prescribe, baby. I was hoping that you'd write some scripts for your patients. You know I can't do that, Chiz. Hey, what's the big deal? You saw I sent Chipotle for lunch yesterday, right? I know the nurse saw it. I did. Chiz, I can't write prescriptions just because you want to sling more drugs. That's not how the healthcare system works. <laughs> That's a good one, Doc. Fair enough, Doc. Hey, so I got this symposium next month and I need an expert speaker to come in, say a few things about medicine and science and all this kind of stuff. I was wondering if maybe on a completely unrelated matter, you might want to come in and say a few words and maybe make a little speaker's fee, huh? I like money. Yeah, it pays 50 grand. What do you think? All right, I'm in. What do you want me to prescribe? Well, I don't know. You got any patients that uh, are kind of hard case looking for some kind of miracle drug or something like that? Yeah, we got this one guy that's like constantly dead and the family refuses to let him die. He just keeps coming back into the hospital. So, uh, yeah, maybe there's something you can do there. Well, take me to him. Let's see this guy. Let's see what's going on there. And violate every HIPAA law that we have. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's go. All right. Here he is. Whoa, Doc. I'm a pharmaceutical guy, not a priest, okay? <laughs> I know, he just keeps coming back in. The family refuses to accept that he's dead, so I just keep pumping him full of shit coins, and he kind of comes around a little bit, but then he's immediately dead again, and they just want me to keep doing that over and over and over again. Say less, Doc. I got something out in the trunk of my car. Let me go grab it, bring it back in. We're going to get him right. Is he getting us honey-baked hams for lunch? You know, that 10 years of school and 200 grand in student loans... That was worth it. All right, Doc, I got just the thing for your boy here. This little thing they're cooking up down in R&D, they call it salad. Salad. Seems like it should have a more technical designation. Hey, Doc, I'm a pharmaceutical guy, not a scientist, okay? What does it do? Well, instead of doing completely useless stuff, securing blockchains for coins that aren't going anywhere or don't do anything, it actually lets him do useful work that people are paying actual real money for. Wow, that sounds like... A miracle cure. All right, so how do we give it to him? Mm, I think it's suppository. Yeah? I think it's suppository. Yeah, okay. Suppository. Yeah, let's do it. Suppository. Let's go. Down the hatch, buddy. <laughs> oh, can't get it. Hang on. There we go. All right. Oh. Uh. Uh. I'm alive. Uh, doctor, you did it. <laughs> wow, that works shockingly well. Dr. Technicals, the family heard about this experimental treatment and they want a word with you immediately. Of course they do. Dr. Technicals, we heard about the experimental treatment that you're giving GPU mining. We do not condone this treatment method. You must cease immediately. I mean, it seems more natural to me because previously he was just securing the blockchain of shitcoin tokens that aren't going anywhere that have no real purpose and now he's doing actual work for things that people are paying actual money for we do not want to think that we only want to think about mining useless shit coins that are going to make us millionaires despite the fact that those days are way far in the past he must mine cryptocurrencies and not do actual things that make actual money jesus christ you fucking people uh, uh, what do you want me to do Keep feeding him shit coins over and over again. This is the crypto miner's way. Hey, Chiz, do you have anything for uh, advanced psychosis to give these people? Hey, <laughs> you bet, Doc. 
You've done all you can, but we can no longer support this. We're taking him with us. Goodbye. GP Mining, listen. If you start to feel bad, there are other options out there. Here, I'm going to give you one more of these. If things start to go bad, you know what to do. Can I just take this orally? Oh, yeah. Why'd you stick it up my ass? I don't know. Sometimes things are beyond your control when you're a doctor at Crypto Hospital. But you just got to accept them. It comes with the territory. And just know that I did everything I could. Doctor, your next patient's in. It's a man named D-Pin. All right, fuck this.